welcome to the Metal Voice at the Metal Hall of Fame 2024. Yeah. Yes, yes. Tim, it's been a while. You, you look great, actually. Thank you. You lost uh, some... Uh, I feel all right. I feel good. good, yeah. You feel good, yeah. I feel, I feel all right. I'm still hungry today, though, so we get to eat pretty soon. So I see, I see lettuce over there. I can eat that. You're being inducted into the Metal Hall of Fame 2024. When they first told you, what came across in your mind? At least one Hall of Fame once me, huh? Um, it, was, it was one thing that Jewish priest uh, couldn't say no to, so I could go into this one. I, I was excited, you know? I mean, it was... It's, it's always nice to get recognition. I mean, you know, start to get a little bit of recognition here. And, and um, it's always good to be with your peers and your friends and, and uh, all the musicians and all this stuff. That was good. KK's Priest. Yes. You're, you're like you're ripping through the United States. Yeah. More right. dates are going to be added. Yeah, we're looking at, you know, doing as much as possible. So, I, you know, hopefully in September we'll try to book some more. You know, because we've got so much stuff coming up. Festivals in the summer, it's hard to... Hard to figured out so I think we're going to add more dates in September they're looking at and seeing what we can do but I know as we go on it's I know he wants to get out there you know? we want to get out and do it what's the reaction to the studio albums the first two studio albums by most folk it's been great you know I mean you're always going to get somebody not liking it and that's just normal anyways isn't it but it's been a it's been a great response it's been way better than I think I think it's a it's a shock response to some people they're shocked that it's as good as it is and there's a backlash because it's as good as it is. Yeah, you know. And I think the only backlash is people always try to compare it to, to Priest and stuff, but it's there, there, there's two bands. How, how great is that for, for any metal fans out there to have these two bands that are out there doing it? You know, one's one, one's another, and, you know, they got Ken out there playing it again. You know, I'm a huge supporter of you. I've always been a huge supporter of you and your music. Do you find that this is sort of, this is what it should have been when you were in Priest, versus, I do love Demolition Juggalator, don't get me wrong, but this is what, if, if these KK Priest albums were the albums that you would have, uh, you know, done your part with Priest, it would have been a total game changer. I don't think it would have been, I think it was the time we were at. I think if we released Juggulator Demolition right now, it would be totally different, in my opinion. Okay. Because, you know, metal was so bad. You know, bands were playing smaller places. At the end of Judas Priest and the Painkiller tour, you know, they were playing in front of a thousand people in Europe and stuff. I mean, it was a total different kind of, of an animal. Um, uh, it just, you know, 2000 or so when it started coming back, you know, you start seeing it. Now you get, you know, Maiden and Priest out there still selling out these, are selling these big concerts. Well, Maiden selling out the really big concerts. And um, I think. I think those records, it's hard to, to replace somebody like that. I don't care how great the records would have been. They still want Rob. He's used to, you know, just like people still yell that they want Ken and Priest. I mean, it's just, that's a normal thing. But I think no matter what we would have released, I don't think it would have, uh, it would have, it would have been about the same. What else do you want to promote? Well, I, you know, right now, I, I really, well, we know my EP is still out there, and hopefully we'll be working on great a full EP. one. But yeah. the thing is, right now, it just... You know, you can always see what I'm doing on my websites and my or my social media pages. You know, I'm like a marketing machine. Um, but really, KK's Priest is the thing. You know, I want everybody to, to see that. I love it. And, and spread the word. It's a great show. You know, the songs are played like they're supposed to be played. And I try to sing them like they're supposed to be sung, hopefully. Um, and a lot of energy and a lot of, you know, efforts put into it. And, and then the latest record's just fantastic. I mean, it's a great record. When people tell you about your contributions to Demul Demolition and Jugulator, like you had them not, you didn't have, you were like the new guy, right? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. So did you feel like, okay, I don't have my, you know, I can't really speak up too much because I'm the new guy. I don't want to stir up the waters or... Oh, I, exactly. You're, you joined Judas Priest. You know, at the end, I, I did want to write. I came to the table with a few songs. Screen Machine was one of them, actually, and uh, which would have been probably been one of the better Judas Priest songs on those records. But... Um, you know, I it's, it's Judas Priest, it's KK, Glenn. You know what I mean? It's it Ian. You, you don't really, you just go with it. And I was fine with how, I was fine with how everything went. You know, I was, I loved the records, and I learned a lot from working with Glenn and Ken and working in the studio. I learned a lot. You know, it's funny because people say to me on this record, like, you know, how long it take? Would you just say, listen, I. I recorded all my vocals at my house, and, and I sat in a chair recording the vocals when I did those vocals, you know, and uh, relaxed and just had my coffee, and, and um, 
but I learned how to, to do it from starting off working with those guys. Uh, Tim, I've always been a supporter of you. You have been. Right from the beginning. You're a big supporter. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a supporter of your guys, and I still I might need a new T-shirt. I got to find my old one. Yeah, home, I'm so. gonna get you a new T-shirt. Next time I get your way or something, I'll make yeah. sure. Yeah. Next get time it. you come to Montreal, T-shirt, Dinner. Chinese food. Chinese. Yeah, I'll do Chinese food. Yeah. Every guy, everybody, pick up the EP by Tim Ripper Owens. Pick up KK's Priest. Go pick up some tickets in the United States, and hopefully they'll come to Canada soon. Yeah. Hopefully. Thanks, Tim.